conduct passes. Um, and you know, there were tanks and stuff out in the street, which, honest, should that, like, give you a clue that maybe it's not the best time? <laughs> I'm not kidding. We were out three or four in the morning, rolling down these empty streets. Martial law means you can't go out at night, so we were the only ones. We were in a cab and safe conduct. And there, I swear to God, there were army tanks. And we'd go army tank, it was kind of foggy. And Lima, it never rains, but it's, it's like foggy, and you know, they would be like, oh man, that's an army tank. Well, we should have thought through that. That was, we did, we were young and not given to what I would call in-depth thought. <laughs> but I got down there and, uh, and so we went up to Cusco, which is the, the departure point for the narrow gauge rail uh, to the famous ruins of Machu Picchu and got on board this train and I was sitting by the aisle and a German young man, a boy, was beside me and his mother was across here and his father was across here. Two people faced two people. And somebody, uh, it was a time of uh, turmoil in Peru, had put a backpack, a red backpack, stuffed it full of dynamite uh, and lighted that thing, uh, but you couldn't see it or you couldn't hear it. So we all sat down and talked to that boy and um, I turned back after we had spoke. He was taking his parents around Peru. Uh, he was a guy, he could speak English and uh, Spanish real well. It's a beautiful language. And then the bomb went off. And well, when it went off, it uh, killed his mother and then killed his father. And it killed that boy. It took, about, uh, it took about four hours for him to die. And it should have killed me. I had a cut artery. And, cut vein, blew my ears in, which is why I don't hear it, blew my hands up, so that's why I play this left-handed guitar. Um, and I, I don't know why I lived through that night. I shouldn't, should not have. There was, there was no good reason for me to have made that night, uh, and then made um, the air vac out. Uh, our Air Force came in. Not, not one good reason. Had gangrene and renal failure. And then I had a whole bunch of surgeries. And in all those surgeries, um, I took a lot of pills and I drank a lot uh, because there was, there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of boredom and there was a lot of anxiety. And I got so bitter. And I was trying to get my hands to do something as simple as that, that little guitar riff, and they would not do a thing. And it was one particular day, one very dark day, when I was so full of anger. That the German boy with the blue eyes, and his face just rolled back up on my left side. And he didn't say anything, he just, it was just there. And that was, that was when I began to change. That was, that was the day when that boy came back when I thought, you know, I am complaining about too much. I don't have one thing to complain about. And if I'm not full of gratitude just for whatever is left of this life, I am making a pretty big mistake. Forget his 
eyes His silhouette Of course I don't Of course I don't forget There are blue eyes His silhouette a dead, it's a dead I don't forget these broken fingers Some things don't heal I can't wake up from a dream When the dream is real These broken fingers I don't forget, I don't forget, etched like a crystal vase, I don't forget, there is a death. How long, how long ago? Sixteen years, every day, of course I know, of course I know, forget his face. Of course I don't, it's etched like a crystal vase These broken fingers, some things don't heal I can't wake up from a dream When the dream is real, these broken fingers